My name is Mona Nee. I'm an electrical engineering major working on a team of computer science and computer information systems majors to develop Humanitry. Humanitry is a social network for nonprofits and volunteers. It connects volunteers in the community with the community needs posted by nonprofits in the area. We created Humanitry to really bring the community together. We wanted a way for nonprofits to be able to reach uh, into the community resources and to find volunteers easily um, so that they could have a better impact on the community. Humanitry has been testing out the app using real projects that are going on in the Grove City area. Humanitry is going to be incorporated after graduation so that it can launch on the App Store for real and be helping communities like even Houston, Texas in emergency situations. It can help all sorts of communities across the United States to grow together. My name is Nate Sprunk. I am an exercise science major and I'm a junior. We were looking at the effects of caffeine and pre-workout supplement on muscular endurance. Pre-workout supplement is very popular and me and my, my partners, we know a lot of people that take the supplement and there's also been a lot of research done on it, but not as much looking at individual ingredients from the supplements. So we thought it would be interesting to do a comparative study looking at caffeine because it's a very common ingredient. We actually found that there was no significant difference between the caffeine and the pre-workout trials. So that means they lifted around the same amount each time. Getting to complete this study has been a culmination of everything that we've been learning as exercise science majors. One of the big things we focus on is looking at research and what we can take from research. Getting to conduct our own study and go through that whole process has really showed us what to look for when we're looking at other studies in the future and also what we're taking from results. I'm Ben Allison. I am a history major and I noticed that in the literature a lot of political scientists tend to look at uh, politically based insurgencies and so I wanted to see if uh, path dependent theories worked when you apply them to a, uh, a religiously motivated insurgency. So I chose the Islamic State. I used uh, a combination of quantitative and qualitative methodologies uh, for this research. But specifically I investigated how the Islamic State recruits uh, members, how it controls its members once they're within its ranks, and how it governs the territories that it captures. What I found was that ideology is a much more important factor than past dependent theorists tend to uh, admit or suggest in their own studies of other groups. I'm actually looking to expand my project into a book. I'm working with Dr. Sam Stanton, a professor of political science here at Grove City College, and he and I are going to expand the project um, to include uh, additional case studies and we're hoping that we will get similar results from those studies that will show how um, ignoring ideology is one of the major deficiencies of path-dependent theories of insurgencies. My name is Rebecca. I'm a communication and Spanish major. The project that I did was a research analysis of a speech done in 2009 during the recession by Carl Schramm as a commencement address. I picked this topic because it was a very unusual speech for the time and the audience given, which was the recession and also for people who were graduating from college. I discovered how he subtly encouraged the graduates by not being outright epideictic, but using um, more subtle language and also um, giving them a roadmap to understand how to succeed. I learned not only how to critically look at things and analyze information in this way, but also how to coherently put it in a paper. I now have a better understanding of how to connect words in a better way to use them to achieve a means more than just mindless writing.